on, honey. Daily Pop. Come on over. Oh, 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 oh it's Daily Pop. Yes. Oh, yes. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, so Crystal, this is your second season gracing us on our screens with a yeah. diamond in your hands. And I have to wonder, what did you learn during the first season that may have changed your approach for how things went this season? So I was second season, I was like, I studied it. I went through every mistake I you know, made. And I was like, I'm going to go in there. And then I did it all over again and made tons of mistakes. You know, you just can't prepare. You just have to be yourself. And some people are going to like it and some people are not. And um, I'm just, that's it. I'm just going to be myself and not worry about how anyone feels about it. Well, someone that seems to be universally loved is your housekeeper, Lucy. She seems to be the breakout star of the season. Yes, yeah, she was supposed to be here today. So as a matter of fact, I would, have stayed, I would have stayed home with the kids. But uh, What is Lucy's reaction like to all of the fan love? And is she getting a bit of a big head and ego around the house as a result of it? Lucy already started with a big ego, so, like, we didn't have to worry about that. But she loves it. I mean, her kids tell her. Like, her daughter is the same age as me, and so we talk a lot, and she's like, oh, my God, my mom is, like, a monster. I'm like, I know. She lives in my house. Like, I know. But we love her. She's the funniest. Okay, pretending that he's not standing next to you right now. Okay. What is your favorite hip-hop Rob dance move? <laughs> okay, so he does this thing. I'm going to say right on radio. You know yeah. what I'm going to do. Like, he does this, like, hand thing. Yeah, but it's nothing like that. <laughs> she needs to really work on it, I think. Okay, to get, sorry. To get the whole I'm going to... Teach us. Teach us. <laughs> yes, it's kind of, you know, it's sort of a hand. Oh, yeah, see, okay. There we go. Yeah. That's, that's the move. That's the move right there. <laughs> okay, I love that. So, you have had some actual serious conversations with Sutton this season, yeah. and I'm wondering, where do things currently stand between the two of you? You went into the season with this strong friendship. It seemed like baseball uh, built this uh, friendship yeah. from, from the ashes. Yes. Where are things now? Well, you have to watch, but, you know, Sutton and I, we have a history of up and downs, and um, we go through a little bit more, but um, I think... I think it's on the up. <laughs> okay. Another friendship that I want to ask about. I, I spoke to Garcelle a couple weeks ago, and I asked yeah. her what was going on with you guys. And she said that things were not the same as they were before the season. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Where do things stand in your eyes? I think some people are affected by watching the show back. Um, I'm less so. I, I'm someone that sort of sticks to where I am now, and I give grace to what happens uh, what has happened in the past, but uh, Garcelle has reached out recently and has said nice things, and I said thank you. So it was nice. You have been very open from the beginning. Last season, you were very open about racism that you had been receiving. This season, you have been very open about your eating disorder. What has that experience been like sharing that side of your life with the world, and what has the response been? It's interesting. We were talking about on the way here. Um, you know, tonight is a, an episode that I kind of talk about it more, and I said to Rob, I said, it's so odd because it's just has been a part of my life for over 30 years, and um, it's, it's strange that it's new for people, new for audience, obviously, new for my friends, but it's something I've lived with almost my whole life, and so it's it's interesting to have to sort of deal with that in a new, fresh way. And he's like, well, where do you stand with it? And how is your recovery? And I'm like, we just, just got to keep moving forward. But I think the show um, is kind of an incredible, challenging um, experience to have to deal with it. And But I'm grateful for it. Erica makes some comments that I think some people might classify as unfortunate in this week's episode am i being generous or is that yeah you know i think that there's sort of a wide range of responses when people are uncomfortable some can be extreme and just intentionally hurtful and some can be more awkward or more flippant or people make jokes if someone gets hurt you know that kind of thing so i try to just if I get hurt like that, I tend to just kind of shield my heart and, you know, I, as you can see, I kind of step away from the situation because it's not good for my recovery. But I try not to take it in 
that it's about me. Do we see um, you and Erica clearing the air about those comments in the future at all? Or we'll see. Okay. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Speaking of the future, we're not here yet. that's true. Speaking, yeah. we're, we're also not at the end of the season, but Correct, I'm still going to ask you, yeah. would you want to come back for season 13? Yeah, you know, um, it, it, people, the girls always say it gets easier each year. Mm -hmm. It gets harder sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, at this moment, yeah, I'm more, I'm comfortable. What do you make of all of the fans' response to Kyle and Dorit reacting to Erica? and her interactions with Garcelle's son. Yeah. The fans have been very vocal, it seems, about that, more so perhaps than any other issue this season. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting. When you're in the experience, you're not sure what what moments will blow, you know, be bigger than others. You know, my whole thing was, you know, I just sort of took Jax to, like, help him. You know, he's a kid. I have young kids. And so I just didn't... I didn't see any of that. You know, that was, I don't get to see until I watch the episode. So am I surprised? I mean, it's it's very large reaction, but it's also not okay. So, you know, kids are, kids are untouchable, period, no matter, and we all know this. So I think that's why people were so upset by it. Rob, have you had a chance to speak with Mauricio and PK of, since the issue? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. Um, no, but I think, you, <laughs> you know, I, my impression was that they were clearly not thinking as much about Jax as they were about Erica, and I think they were trying to send a message to her that somehow they were being supported, but they weren't really, they didn't have their eye on the, mm -hmm. on the prize, you know, they, it, it was just a little mis, you know, misdirected. Yeah. Anything else on the season that you guys want to, I feel like I grilled you about so much. Is there anything else? Yeah, that but it's okay. I mean, this show is is fun and it's wild and it's like heart wrenching and all those things and um, you know we go through it and but it's a journey and you know it's we go up and down with these women and you leave feeling better about things and worse about things but that's just life you know it can't just always be perfect so um, I'm looking forward to seeing you know we're not we're like just halfway through which is wild it feels like i've been watching it for 17 years <laughs> are, are you excited for kathy and does kathy bring a new energy to the season of course i mean i think kathy you know i did it with kathy last year and i was so sad when she wasn't there mm -hmm. the first half and i would call her and tell her what was going on so it's really nice that she's here and back and i think the audience just loves her you know she's so quirky and she has such a like giant personality in all different directions and I think that's what's fun about it.